So you've just logged into your Payoneer account and you've seen that all of your balances are blocked. Don't be afraid, don't worry. In this video, I'm going to show you how you will fix this problem. So let me take you into my account and show you exactly what I am talking about. Of course, you would know if you're having the same problem. But yeah, I have all of my accounts blocked. And the common reason why this happens is if your account has been sitting inactive for a while, usually around one year then Payoneer is going to block your account. But as you can see here, my account has been active. You can see I made a withdrawal on the 10th of October, 2023. And if you scroll down, you can see that we have some activity going on. So the next thing you want to do is to look around your account and see just how much of a damage or, or how serious this issue is. So we want to go into our bank account section and see if our accounts have been removed. And as you can see, I have four accounts linked and they're all still here. So if I go back home, um, I can go into the notifications. That's the next thing you want to do to see if you have gotten any notifications about this issue directly from Payoneer. And as you can see, there's no new notification. The last one was on the 4th of September. Now, the final thing I want to do to really check if there's an issue is to go and create a new account. So you can see here, I have just the USD, the Euro and the GBP. I'll go in and create a UAE account. And as you can see, the UAE account is working perfectly. So that is not blocked. So that means this might be an easy fix. And now to start fixing the problem, over on the right here, we're going to click on contact our customer support. Once we click on that link, we'll get to the support center and click on my Payoneer account. And once we click on that, it's going to take us to the page where we can select what our problem is. And for this issue, it's close or reopen account that fits the um, problem we're having. So once I click on that, click on contact us, and now we can um, start typing in a message. So here you want to type in a simple message. I've gone on to say, I'm reaching out because my USD accounts have been blocked. You know, I did not do this myself and I would like for it to be reopened. That's the long and short of everything I've said here. I'm going to go on to attach a screenshot of my page, which is showing my accounts blocked and all, and select I'm not a robot and submit this ticket out to the support of Payoneer. Now, immediately you're going to get an email. And as you can see, the email is saying that um, once your Payoneer account is closed, it cannot be reopened. However, you can apply for a new account. Please, you will not be able to use the same email address to register for a new Payoneer account. We look forward to resuming your activity with Payoneer. So this is like saying, maybe I close the account or something. So for you to expedite this process, what you want to do is hit the reply and do another message, something very similar to what you already sent. If you don't do this, you will they will still reply to you, but just to make sure that, look, I don't want anybody to waste my time. I'm going to reply to this email and say, no, I really want to have my account opened restate the problem that I'm having and then send send this message out. Now, after a couple of days, they're going to reply to you and tell you exactly what the next steps will be. Now, I'm going to go back into the thread, the conversation and everything with the customer support and, and show you exactly how this issue went and what their reply was. So, as you can see here, um, this is the first message I sent saying I'm reaching out because my USD account um, within my Payoneer account was disabled. And then I did them another reply directly on email and all of that is showing up here. So this is the message they sent back to me now. They said, thank you for contacting Payoneer Customer Care. This is Geraldine, one of Payoneer's customer support representatives. I'm willing to assist you regarding your concern about your blocked cards and balances. We apologize for the inconveniences of your card and balance being blocked. I'm here to assist you in resolving this issue. Upon checking, I can confirm that the request ID in your account has been approved. Therefore, I will promptly forward this incident to our relevant team for review and activation of your card and balance. Please anticipate an email update from the relevant team within the next 24 hours. Should you need any further assistance, you should you know, contact us. And they went on to say, hope your family are doing well and everything. Very courteous and everything. Have a wonderful day. Nice. This is one thing I love about Payoneer. They have really, really great customer support. I don't know how they do it with all the people that they have. They almost always seem to reply to you in t on time. This took about 24 hours. Of course, I did this on the weekend, but this took about 24 hours for me to actually get the whole thing um, set up if I'm discounting week uh, weekend. So now that we have gotten that feedback from Jera, the ticket is closed and now I'm logged back into my account and you can see everything is open. I can now withdraw, I can 
um, deposit money into my account and use it as normal okay so my account is open that's exactly how you do it but to end this video i would like to say these kinds of accounts are not places where you keep money you see i didn't have any money when this happened so i didn't have any reason to be bothered too much usually on online accounts like this i always withdraw my money almost immediately my rule of thumb is if i open an account online if it's not somewhere that i can just walk into the banking hall like a regular bank in my country i can walk into the banking hall and speak to someone physically and have these issues resolved uh, i'm not going to leave my money in it so i'm talking paypal Payoneer, wise and places like this i just get my money out and make sure i put them in my bank account my naira account or my usd account my domiciliary account where i have a little bit more security and i can rest easy about my money and know that nothing is going to happen so because if your account is blocked like this if they decide they're not going to reopen it there's very little you can do so i'm saying all of that to say don't leave your money in online accounts like this they are not meant to work or operate as a savings account that's what your bank is for so yeah that's exactly how you resolve the issue and i hope you found this video useful and informative and helpful if you love to learn about freelancing productivity and personal finance then this is the community for you consider subscribing and i will see you in the next video take care